Okay, let's just start off by you telling us, Michelle, a bit more about the Women in Science program. Okay, so the L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science program was created back in 1998, and um, it is a partnership between the L'Oreal Foundation and um, UNESCO. And the program really is um, aimed to improve the representation of women in scientific careers. Um, the program is underpinned by the philosophy that the world needs science and science is women. And as L'Oreal, we really, really are the driver behind, you know, supporting women in the scientific field. Okay. And then um, the other night I witnessed that um, six winners basically received awards. Um, can you just tell mm -hmm. our viewers more how um, you got to the six ladies. I understand that you receive um, hundreds of applications. So to, mm -hmm. to our viewers out there basically who'd like to apply, can you just tell them a bit more about that process? So um, the program is literally open to um, PhD and postdoctoral um, students that are within a scientific um, field. So how it works is um, we open up applications every year. And for applications, people need to go to uh, For Women in Science our website, which is www.forwomeninscience.com. And that is where you're literally going to find information about how to apply for the program. But literally what the program focuses on is um, as a postdoc, uh, post or a PhD um, um, candidate, you would um, ordinarily be working on a research project, right? So you really enter your research project. And then after that, we have an amazing team of assessors and juries that we work with. So once we've received all those applications, the, um, the candidates' um, projects are literally go through a very, very um, task literally to actually look at the research. So at the end of the day, we're looking at the impact, you know, um, each candidate's research projects has um, to impact the world or, you know, it creates, you know, um, human or solve human issues. Okay. So Michelle, would you say that the L'Oreal Foundation addresses um, the 17 sustainable goal development goals? And if it does, which goals does it specifically focus on? No, we definitely are. We have a new program that we've launched recently um, called L'Oreal for the Future. And the program aims to really become uh, fully sustainable uh, by 2030. And how we aim to do this is by producing environmentally friendly packaging, one, um, ensuring that all our sites are carbon neutral uh, with 100% renewable energy, and also just really committing towards an ecosystem uh, rest restoration project um, that are among the brands that that is amongst the brand sustainability goals. Okay. How does the program create awareness of females in this respective industry? Um, you know, um, one of the reasons why as L'Oreal we're actually getting into this program, right, is because, you know, at Women Scientists, and I think this is globally, um, Although they, 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 they are leading groundbreaking researchers across the world, but really despite their efforts, women are still um, mis under misrepresented in the science field, right? So our work um, as L'Oreal is literally just to create that platform, um, to create that awareness about the work, the work that is done by um, women um, 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 researchers in the science um, field, literally to create that equal gender representation in the field. Okay. And then Michelle, just lastly, um, to individuals who'd like to apply, um, can you just give them details for the next um, intake um, with regards to how can they, how can they apply? So like I said previously, so we've literally closed off um, the 2022 program. And I must say, um, going forward, we're literally looking forward to uh, following the journey um, the six ladies are going to be embarking on while they are pursuing um, their research studies. So for 2023 program, it will be open from um, May 2023. All you need to do is to go to www.forwomen.com. Um, for women in science.com to get all the um, information around the South Africa program. In terms of um, our viewers would like to know what the grant is all about. Can you just kindly tell our viewers about the grant that was received? So by 
So the grants that have been received by the recipients is literally, you know, um, especially in Putumelo can attest to this, when you're studying and you literally just trying to, you know, what, get your um, your paper done, funding could be a problem, right? So this is why um, L'Oreal, we literally found this program to be um, so impactful and literally just, you know what, we cannot solve the world's problems, like, but we can literally just help, you know, give them a step ahead um, in their grants. So literally the grants will help them to further their studies and literally conclude their, um, their research. And I can say maybe for the next two, three years, yeah. Okay. All right, Michelle, thank you so much. Um, let's move on to you, Boy Dumelo. Um, let's just start off by you telling us, um, um, you received an award for a research project. Can you just kindly um, summarize to our viewers what the research project was about? Um, let me first thank uh, the Laurel UNESCO uh, Foundation for Women in Science Award for um, actually creating such a wonderful platform to support women in science because that's really um, commandable. And also it, it's very... Um, useful and needed in the research community, especially for women. So my project is based on uh, uh, developing and also investigating a hydrogen um, a nano uh, sensor. Uh, this nano sensor will be uh, able to detect uh, hydrogen at room temperature with no additional uh, power supply. And then it's, it's mainly made of vanadium dioxide. Um, the reason for the choice of our materials is because with um, vanadium dioxide falls under um, transition metal oxide, wherein they uh, actually exhibit such wonderful properties that can be used in almost all, uh, all the applications that are, are needed in the society. And also because uh, South Africa is the largest producing vanadium dioxide, so that will definitely benefit South Africa. Thank you. Okay, and then um, Boitumelo, can you just tell our viewers why you chose science? Um, I think for me, it's curiosity would be at the top of the list. <laughs> Being curious on finding out how things how work and how um, in, in the ecosystem, how non-living organisms and also living organisms can uh, interact and also benefit from each other. I think that was the foundation of my curiosity when it comes to the research uh, or scientific field, for me to choose scientific field. And also because, um, um, science uh, produce a huge platform for us to solve our day-to-day -day issues for um, the, solution, the solution or problem solver in this case. Okay, so Boitumela, can you just tell our viewers why science? Uh, I think the reason for science is uh, science uh, is and is always been um, the foundation of finding a solution for our human issues like environmental issues so for me um, the fact that uh, this field provides that platform for us to tackle the the issues that we face as society it's uh, it's very interesting and intriguing. So I think that's why I went for science because I was curious to know how we as living organisms and how can how do we interact with uh, non-living organisms and also benefit from each other in, in, in some way. So science has always been that um, field where you can actually um, be, uh, I think you can actually solve and, and find out how things work in, in, in real life. And okay. And then I love what you're saying, Wetumelo. I think it goes hand in hand with one of the um, statements that was said by one of the speakers on the night of the awards. Um, he mentioned something along the lines of L'Oreal doesn't only focus on cosmetics, but it also focuses on the mind as well. So I yeah. think your your response resonates so much with those words because I was sitting there and I was just like, this is so, this is so, um, it has so much of impact um, after listening to what he had to say. Um, 
And what would you say to a young girl who's currently in school um, and is currently studying science and would love to be a scientist one day? I think uh, with with in a world with endless uh, questions, science has always been there to provide uh, most of the answers or, or, or solutions for those questions. And to girls who wish or who are currently partaking in careers in science, I'm saying, um, it is very um, a wonderful field to be part of um, contributing to the body of knowledge in general in the scientific uh, manner, and also to be able to be in the forefront of, of solving human issues or environmental issues, and also to be able to, you know, uh, in, in science, it's, it has always been like, uh, women won't be capable of doing certain things. I'm saying in science, there's no such thing as gender or, or any racial uh, heritage that will um, make you uh, not, that will make you the uh, worst or best candidate. It has nothing to do with racial or gender issues. It's more about passion. It's more in a, a huge discovery. So, ladies or women um, in, in science or who wish to partake in science should uh, not let other people's limited imaginations like confine them like they should be themselves do whatever they want like I think that's the, the best uh, ladies should do like be who they want to be. So Boitumelo, can you just tell us some of the challenges that you faced as, in, in the industry as a woman? I think uh, as a woman, we are looked down upon when it comes to the, the uh, scientific um, field, wherein we, we, we are thought, oh, women are meant just for bearing or looking after households, wherein like women are more capable of tackling uh, a lot of um, problems and also they are problem solvers themselves. And also uh, there's a saying that if you teach a man, you're teaching an individual, but then if you teach a woman, you're teaching a nation. So, which means it doesn't matter the place or the platform that we are in. Uh, education is always an ongoing process for women, whether it's at home, whether it's at school, whether it's amongst the community. So I feel like us being looked down upon has always been uh, an issue wherein we feel like we are not uh, capable of doing uh, such or partaking in such fields. So, but then with the likes of Mary Curie that have won Nobel Prizes, we can just see that the wonderful work that women are are putting out there and how they are in the front lines of solving uh, human um, issues or the, the world crisis that we are facing today. Okay. And then, um, wait a minute, let's move on to talk about um, the L'Oreal UNESCO Award um, and the grants and basically what it's going to do for you. Um, from your perspective, after receiving um, this award, um, what does it mean to you? I, I don't know how to explain this because I thought for, for me, the feeling after receiving the award, uh, it will like subside, but then it still puts me in our way of uh, how I've uh, achieved such a prestigious award. This means a lot to my research because it not only does it open doors for me. It also creates a platform for me to be able to uh, take my work and, and collaborate with internationals on that because the grant will help us in um, traveling to go within South Africa and also beyond. And also it will also um, allow me to uh, also have access to some of the techniques that will uh, help my uh, research so so much. So this award means the world to me. It's it's a wonderful opportunity for for us as women in in the scientific field. Okay, and then just lastly, Boitumelo, are there any words that you'd like to share with our viewers with regards to um, this awards ceremony? I think. Um, 
for me, when I first applied, you know, there's always doubts, but then trying is the key. Because if you don't try, you'll never know how good or how wonderful you, your research project is in the um, scientific uh, field or even um, in, in the world. Because some of the work that we do are actually um, helping solve some of the sustainable goals that you were asking uh, Michelle earlier on. So um, in my case with my work, it's actually part of um, uh, assisting the Sustainable Development Goal 7, wherein they aim to address the climate change agency and also provide um, uh, secure energy. And uh, for my case, I feel like, um, women should be able to put their work out there to the world because you would never know where it would take you or what change it can bring to the world. So I feel like we should um, apply more, like try and, and submit your, your applications because at the end it's, it might be a, a wonderful, bear wonderful fruits. Thank you so much, Wilkumelo.